Sorry about it, but it's that time of the year for a decent selection of the community here. Back to school season is upon us. I hated school. I hated school so much. The structure, the homework, the studying, learning math that I'll never use it in my entire life. I'm so happy that part of my life is well behind me. But I'll tell you what's not well behind me. My federal student loans. Woo, so exciting. I broke down my federal student loans here and why I will not be paying them off early. So feel free to check that out, of course, after you watch this video. I also had private student loans, but I paid those off as soon as I could. Sally Mae can go something that's PG and advertiser friendly herself. But you know what's more fun than kicking Sally Mae out of the house? Giving this video a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people and checking out some of the fun links that I have in the description below. Now let me be clear about one thing going into this video. This is not political. I don't care if you're left, right, center, up, down. We are going to be sticking to the facts about what collective research says would happen if $10,000 of student loan debt was forgiven. And as always, all sources are linked in the description below. Internally at the White House, there has been massive back and forth over the past year and a half about what to do for any potential student loan forgiveness. President Biden did promise to forgive at least a portion of federal student loan debt during the 2020 election, and White House sources are now indicating that $10,000 per borrower is the current plan. It's actually been reported that Biden planned to announce this only a few weeks ago, but during that same exact time, the tragedy in Uvalde, Texas happened and it no longer seemed appropriate in the moment. That being said, though that makes sense, it's also been quite a few weeks since then and no announcement has been made. The current plan seems to indicate that this $10,000 per borrower would only apply to those who made less than $150,000 in the year of 2021 or less than $300,000 for married couples who filed jointly. What's less known at this time is if how much would be forgiven starts to decrease at those income limits or if it's just a hard cutoff. Either way, of the 41 million Americans in student loan debt, equaling $1.75 trillion total, we can assume that this forgiveness would settle the debt for one-third of borrowers while cutting the debt in half for another 20%. And with that, how are federal student loans looking today? 33% owe $10,000 or less, 20% owe between $10,000 to $20,000, 21% owe between $20,000 and $40,000, 18% owe between $40,000 and $100,000, and 7% owe over $100,000 in federal student loan debt. So really, though this would benefit 50% of borrowers in a major way, for the top 30% of borrowers, $10,000 will barely make an impact in their overall federal student loan debt. And of course, we can't forget that this is on top of the fact that one in eight Americans also have private student loan debt. Sally Mae! Even if you take all student debt and equate the average at $28,950, $10,000 would only forgive over a third of the average student loan borrowing. And if you want to feel a bit gross, for federal student loans, 6.4 million Americans who are in their last decade before retirement still owe a total of $282 billion. And 2.4 million Americans who are in their retirement age still owe a total of $98 billion. We clearly have a major student loan crisis in this country. And to further exacerbate this crisis, 25% of those with student loans make less than $20,000 a year and 36.1% make less than $40,000 a year. That means that the bottom 25% of borrowers have almost 25% of their pre-tax income going away just to make the average minimum monthly payment of $393. Now, of course, yes, many do get degrees in fields that are not very marketable, and that's their personal choice, and that personal choice may directly impact their income. But what scares me even more is that 40% of people with student loans never got a degree. What a mess. Yes. Many are arguing that all federal student loans should be forgiven due to these statistics that I've gone over. And many are arguing that it's not the taxpayer's responsibility to pay these student loans. It would cost the federal government roughly $230 billion in this scenario, which is a lot of money, but also a lot argue that it would be a stimulus to the economy. 
That being said, the economy is clearly in a different place than it was in the 2020 election, and by that, I mean we are dealing with crazy inflation. In February, the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, which is a nonpartisan public policy organization, estimated that canceling all of the $1.6 trillion in federal student loan debt held by Americans would increase the inflation rate by anywhere from 0.1 to 0.5 percentage points in the next 12 months. And honestly, that's not crazy considering that we hit 9.1% year over year inflation last month. But is now the time that we want to risk any inflation increases? Of course, that report took into account $1.6 trillion being forgiven instead of the only $10,000 per borrower being proposed now. On the other side of the spectrum, advocates for forgiveness also note that borrowers of color are more likely to hold student loan debts, with the average black borrower in this country owing 50% more than the average white borrower. So their argument is that student loan forgiveness could help improve racial inequity of income. For the opposition, critics of forgiveness argue that it could disproportionately benefit high-income households since over 50% of outstanding student loan debt is held by individuals in the top two income quintiles. And of course, those who are in favor of forgiveness state that at least $10,000 in forgiveness would help pump more money into the economy. But at this exact moment, the Federal Reserve is trying to do the exact opposite to slow down inflation. So this is an incredibly complex issue, and just like anything with economics, we can only use our best hypotheses. Just like anything on this channel, I don't look at this from a political perspective. I'm a per-issue person when it comes to that kind of stuff, but I know you want to know what I think. I have federal student loans, so financially, this would benefit me, and it would also benefit many of my close friends in my age group. So, it would make sense that I would have a selfish desire to have $10,000 forgiven. I also don't like that deferment continues to get kicked down the road and is being used as a tool to get votes in the midterms. We are talking about people's financial futures here. But of course, I'm also very worried about the inflation impact in the current period of time we live in. Anything that would increase inflation right now would be bad for all of us. And what about future borrowers? Are we just gonna forgive debt now without changing the system that got us into this place to begin with? That's just more kicking things down the road and I hate that. So honestly, I am torn on this issue. Now, many will say they don't support forgiveness because they've already paid off their student debt. This is the only argument that I do not vibe with. I am not against helping people even when I myself don't need that help. But it does need to have to be proven with the best argument possible that it will actually be beneficial to the country, to the population, and to the future of the economy. So again, this is not from a political perspective. This is just my honest take from the hours of research I've done in preparation for this video. So who knows what's going to happen to student loans before the midterms, but I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, we can disagree on stuff and still want what's best for everyone in the end. And I only say that because I know topics like this can start to become a little less than civil on the internet comment sections. Just make sure to check out all the fun links in the description below and make sure to give this video a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people. Shout out to my four cups of coffee supporters of Deal Martinez, Mark, Josh Bennett, and Anthony. Extra special shout out to my first mentorship member, one last thing. Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks.